Well, John Moran is announcing that he's stepping away from basketball to figure some things out following his two-game suspension from the Memphis Grizzlies after Ja was spotted in a strip club flashing a gun. This video was posted from Ja Morant's Instagram account. And obviously, there are a couple different things in that that you can just say, yo, this is probably not a good scenario. Ja said, I take full responsibility for my actions last night. I'm sorry to my family, my teammates, my coaches, fans, partners, the city of Memphis, and the entire Grizzlies organization for letting you down. I'm going to take some time away to get some help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well-being. Yeah, I saw Nike release a statement saying that they're standing you know, behind their guy, Ja Morant. He's got shoes coming out, a signature shoe with that. I do want to make this clear. Assuming Ja Morant does get the help that he needs in whatever which ways that he needs. On the other end of this is a beautiful story, by the way. Oh, ja can look back on this time in his life and say, you know what? I was young. I had a lot of money, a lot of success being thrown my way. I had a lot of influence being thrown my way. Uh, you know, the, the to the best of our knowledge, nobody has severely gotten hurt. I was young and dumb. There's a great story for brands like Nike to tell, for John Morant personally to tell. And hopefully that is the conclusion of that. Hopefully that wasn't just a PR statement. Hopefully in that statement delivered by Ja's team, there was actually some of his real sentiment in it. So I'm wishing Ja the best. You know, Ja took a beating on social media, in the media. He took a beating yesterday. And this had been, this had been in the works for quite some time. I think if you follow the NBA, especially as closely as I do, you had kind of seen this in the works for quite some time. I think the first things, the bad signs I noticed was the always responding to people on social media. When you're a professional NBA athlete, you just can't do that. There's just entirely too much branding and too much of your face involved. I'm sorry, too many kids want to be John Morant. The irony in this is John Morant seemingly is looking for, uh, you know, he's trying to follow the streets and wanting to be some of that type of energy when he's what people want to be. <laughs> he He's what these kids want to be, which is why the NBA is like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to tighten this up. They want to be you. You want to be somebody else. This is not good for business. This is really not good because now the kids technically want to be NBA young boy or somebody else from the streets like that. This is a bad, <laughs> this is a bad optic for our business. Hopefully Ja gets the help that he needs. I can say this though. This is the one thing. If you ever carried a weapon in your life, right? You know how dangerous it is. And I'm sure that if, I'm talking to somebody out here. I'm no preacher. But uh, if you ever carried a weapon in your life, sometimes you got to thank God that that weapon wasn't on you when you were drinking or when you maybe had something to smoke, whatever the case may be, when you were lit, right? You look back the next day and say, thank you, I didn't have that on me. That could have went left. You know, carrying a, a weapon does nothing but it boosts that ego. It makes you more confident. You're adding like 45, 60 pounds of muscle on yourself when you're carrying that weapon. You feel invincible oftentimes. You add alcohol and whatever else into that. You add strippers into that that do nothing else but boost the, the, the boost the male ego. I mean, these are all things that go in that. If you ever carried a weapon and you didn't have it on you when you got into it with somebody or an altercation, you, you wake up the next day and you thank God because it could have went a lot worse. That's why it's very, very, very dangerous to be strapped when you turn in a club. Jaws got the power to be able to go wherever he wants with, with whatever he wants. It's dangerous. You know, if you've ever seen, if you've ever had that type of energy around your life, you understand the powers. And ain't none of us got a $200 million contract the way Jaws got it. The privilege and power that he's had, he's got in his life right now, I'm sure it is a lot to balance. And if you're chasing something, it's a lot. You got to kind of balance that. And a lot of us seen what happened with John Morant kind of culminating yesterday. We, A lot of us saw that coming. Just thankfully, nobody got hurt. I want to read to you guys a message from ESPN's own Jalen Rose. I thought he did a phenomenal job on their Saturday night countdown show of expressing himself and letting Ja, not judging Ja, but letting Ja know that he was once Ja Morant. I am Ja Morant. You guys got a chance to see me grow up for public consumption since 1991. I've been involved in drug raids. I've survived assassination attempts. I've been that undisciplined young person that was trying to figure out how to be famous, 
how to be successful, how to change the dynamics of my family. He has way too much to lose. He's speaking about John Morant. Trust me, I've been that young player carrying a gun, and Michael Wilburn alluded to this. When you start waving it, that can get you killed. That's an entirely different thing than we are talking about a superstar athlete uh, that should be putting himself in that position. And as Stephen A. Smith mentioned, that's him on video, on his IG Live. Ain't nobody coaxing him. Ain't nobody egging him on to do that. That's a personal choice. He's a 23-year-old man. Nobody got arrested. Nobody got injured. And I'm hearing too many stories about pistols. Allegedly with the 17-year-old kid. Allegedly with the Indiana Pacers staff. And last night on Instagram Live, I saw the video like you guys did, brandishing the gun. The next step to that is now recovery. And I believe he's on that path. I'm happy that he's on that path. He's going to return. And he's going to be a better person. And because of all of this taking place, he's going to be able to live out his full potential. So I just want to say this. I don't know if John Moran, you know, follows my platform or anybody in his circle follows my platform. I know I reach a lot of people in my hometown. I want to say this. If somebody's listening, if you don't want to take the message from me, if you don't want to take the message from millions of fans out there, uh, people around you, maybe even maybe maybe people around you, you you look at as enablers. I don't know. You know, maybe you, you look at look at them as people that can't relate to what you got going on in your life right now. Jalen Rose was never an NBA superstar like John ja Morant, but trust and believe a lot of what John ja Morant is dealing with. Jalen Rose is the right guy to be talking to him. I'm telling y'all that. I'm telling you that for a reason. So, Ja, I don't, look, I, I don't know who's got cloud in your life. Again, a lot of people going to tell you what to do today. Be you and figure it out and, 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 and be better because of this. I'm saying this, though. Jalen Rose is the type of guy you want to listen to. I've been around Jalen Rose one time. I don't know him. I was an intern at uh, in Bristol at the Worldwide Leader. And you pick up on energy quickly. Jalen Rose will tell you that he's dealt with wannabe energy before. I, that's why I'm bringing this up. This is a specific thing. Jalen Rose is the person you want to listen to, Ja, in a situation like this. He is you. He said it. I am Ja Moran. And he meant that, all right? Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Look, and I just want to say, close the video with this. I personally want to see Ja Moran win. I don't want the man to lose hundreds of millions of dollars i get no personal gain in that brother losing it all he's a fantastic talent everybody knows i work with the nba i have nothing but uh invested interest in seeing this young man win <laughs> nobody wins with a talent like that not being on the court but that talent's got to be well off the court to make it on the court time love support which you want to never take for granted salute i'm out